What if the way you parent is backed by professionals and research as a healthy or not so healthy parenting style? Join us as we explore not just who you are as a parent, but how you're shaping the future. Grab a pen and paper. Let's begin. 1. How do you typically set rules in your household? A. I set clear rules and discuss them with my children. B. I set strict rules and expect them to be followed without question. C. I have few rules and tend to go with the flow. D. I rarely set or enforce rules. 2. Your child has not completed their homework. How do you respond? A. Discuss the importance of schoolwork and help them create a plan to keep on track. B. Punish them for not doing their homework. C. Let it slide. They'll figure it out eventually. D. I might not notice they haven't done it. 3. When your child wants something expensive, how do you handle it? A. Talk about the value of the item and whether it's reasonable to have it. B. Say no without offering an explanation. C. Buy it for them if I can afford it. D. I don't get involved in their wants. 4. Your child is upset after a conflict with a friend. What's your approach? A. Listen to their concerns, offer empathy, and discuss ways to handle the situation. B. Tell them to toughen up and deal with it. C. Try to make them feel better by diverting their attention to something fun. D. I don't usually get involved in their personal issues. 5. How do you encourage your child to try new activities? A. Suggest options and discuss what they might enjoy, offering support. B. Decide for them what activities they should try. C. Leave it up to them to find and choose activities. D. I don't really encourage or discourage new activities. 6. Your child has broken a rule. How do you discipline them? A. Explain why the behavior is unacceptable and discuss consequences. B. Impose a punishment related to the rule that was broken. C. Rarely enforce any consequences. D. I don't usually find out about it until much later, if at all. 7. How often do you discuss your child's day with them? A. Almost every day, I ask about their day and feelings. B. Seldom, unless there's a specific issue. C. Occasionally, but I don't push if they don't want to talk. D. Rarely or never. 8. Your child is struggling with a subject in school. What do you do? A. Look for resources to help them and possibly discuss it with their teacher. B. Tell them they need to work harder. C. Assume the teacher will handle any issues. D. I might not even notice they're struggling. 9. How do you react when your child makes a mistake? A. Discuss the mistake as a learning opportunity. B. Often with disappointment or punishment. C. Brush it off. Everyone makes mistakes. D. I might not react at all. 10. How would you describe your involvement in your child's education? A. Very involved. I monitor their progress and communicate with their teachers. B. I expect good grades and that's it. C. I'm supportive but not actively involved. D. Minimal to none. 11. What's your approach to your child's bedtime? A. Have a consistent bedtime but flexible when necessary. B. Strict bedtime, no exceptions. C. They go to bed whenever they seem tired. D. I don't monitor their bedtime. 12. How do you handle it when your child expresses a need or desire? A. Discuss its importance and how we might address it. B. If it's practical and necessary, I might consider it. C. Usually try to fulfill it to make them happy. D. I often overlook or miss these expressions. 13. Your child wants to change their appearance in a way you don't like. How do you react? A. Discuss why they want the change and express any concerns while being supportive. B. Forbid it if I don't approve. C. Let them do what they want. It's their choice. D. 
I might not even comment on it. 14. How do you celebrate your child's achievements? A. With meaningful recognition that encourages their effort. B. Only for significant achievements. C. Often with a gift or treat. D. I might not always acknowledge their achievements. 15. How do you foster independence in your child? A. Encourage them to try new things and make decisions with guidance. B. Expect them to be responsible without much guidance. C. Let them figure things out on their own. D. I don't consciously do anything to foster independence. 16. How do you prepare your child for new responsibilities? A. Discuss the responsibility and provide support as they learn. B. Tell them what their new responsibilities are and expect compliance. C. They'll learn as they go. D. I rarely introduce new responsibilities. 17. When your child succeeds at a difficult task, how do you respond? A. Praise their effort and discuss what they learned. B. Acknowledge the success if it meets my expectations. C. Praise them, maybe even reward them. D. I might not notice unless they tell me. 18. Your child is facing a moral dilemma. How do you guide them? A. Discuss the situation, offering insight into making ethical choices. B. Tell them what they should do. C. Let them decide on their own. D. I'm usually unaware of these dilemmas. 19. How do you teach your child right from wrong? A. Through discussion and leading by example. B. By setting rules and consequences. C. I expect them to learn these concepts over time. D. I don't often engage in teaching these concepts. 20. How involved are you in your child's social life? A. I know their friends and encourage healthy relationships. B. I dictate who they can or cannot be friends with. C. I let them choose their own friends without much input. D. I'm not very involved in their social life. Scoring. Mostly A's. Your parenting style leans towards authoritative. Mostly B's. Your parenting style leans towards authoritarian. Mostly C's. Your parenting style leans towards permissive. Mostly D's. Your parenting style leans towards neglectful. Congratulations on completing the quiz. No matter your results, remember that understanding your parenting style is the first step towards fostering a nurturing and supportive environment for your children. Let's dive into what each parenting style means for you and your family. Authoritative parenting. If you scored highest in authoritative parenting, you're balancing firm guidance with warmth and support. Research and experts agree that this style is highly effective for child development. You set clear expectations and rules, but you're also responsive to your children's needs and emotions. This approach is linked to positive outcomes like high self-esteem, good academic performance, and strong social skills in children. Authoritarian parenting. High scores in authoritarian parenting indicate a strict approach, emphasizing obedience and discipline. While this style can create well-behaved children, it might limit their ability to think independently and affect their self-esteem. Experts suggest incorporating more open communication and understanding into your interactions to balance discipline with emotional support. Permissive parenting. If permissive parenting was your dominant style, you're likely very loving and accepting, but you might struggle with setting boundaries. While this creates a free and expressive environment for children, it can sometimes lead to challenges with structure and discipline. Consider setting gentle but firm limits to help your children learn responsibility and self-control. Neglectful parenting. A high score in neglectful parenting suggests an area for growth. This style is characterized by a lack of responsiveness and low demands. It's important to engage more actively in your child's life, offering guidance and support. 
remember it's never too late to make positive changes in your parenting approach. Moving forward, no quiz can fully capture the complexity of your unique family dynamics, but it can provide a starting point for reflection and growth. Parenting is a journey, and every day offers a new opportunity to strengthen your relationship with your children. Consider exploring workshops or books to develop a parenting style that feels right for you and meets your children's needs. Remember, the best parenting style is one that combines understanding, flexibility, and a willingness to adapt and grow. By seeking to understand your parenting approach and its impact on your children, you're already taking significant steps towards fostering a loving and supportive home environment. Your approach to parenting shapes the world of tomorrow through the hearts and minds of our children. For those of you looking to dive deeper, you'll find an affiliate link to an absolutely fabulous parenting book by a top clinical psychologist. This book is not just a guide. It's a treasure trove of insights, real-world applications, and transformative approaches that have empowered countless parents to nurture more fulfilling relationships with their children. Whether you're looking to refine your parenting style, understand your child's needs better, or simply find encouragement on those tough days, this book is your go-to resource. If you enjoyed this video, please like to show your support. It helps more than you know. Check out our video on The Truth About Parenting Styles, What Really Works. Subscribe for more insights, tips, and all things growth. Until next time.